just I think two games in a row were just not good enough. Pretty simple, just light on pucks. Uh, didn't win battles. Uh, we won the net front tonight. It's pretty simple. Just disappointing. This is a big one for Craig as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we just uh, just a bad game all around. Up and down the lineup starts with me. Um, but yeah, I mean, just a number of things that obviously we didn't do good tonight. How do you think Joseph looked in his debut today? Uh, I mean, it's tough when you know we're giving up odd man's that way and um, turning pucks over. Um, so, I mean, it's it's tough to bounce right back into your first game and, and have that coming at you. Why do you think it does happen to Austin after what happened to him today? I don't know. I mean, I think it's just a mindset, honestly. And um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it shouldn't. I think we're a veteran group in here, and we should. Uh, you know, we're. We're a good team. We believe we're a good team, and um, you know we should have responses after games like the previous uh, night in Columbus. And tonight, we obviously didn't have one. Craig didn't look like he was very happy with your line in particular after what seemed to be his third goal. How did you take that sort of exchange? And what did you learn from that? Um, I don't remember. Um, you know exactly what what happened or what was said. I mean, I think. Uh, I think the message was, you know, pretty simple to the whole group that we just need to be better. We need to be in, be in spots. We need to fill positions. Uh, we need to check better. Uh, we can't give up, uh, you know, slot chances like that. Um, you know, against a team like this, that's a good skill. Three for twenty-seven on the power play now. What, what, what are you seeing from them? I mean, I thought tonight was a little bit better, and then you know we get uh, down to crunch time and just not not good enough there, not generating enough. Um, just. Not on the same page, and I mean that's um, that's kind of been the story throughout uh, the first eight games here, and uh, it's it's hard to uh, you know to dominate, to uh, um, gain momentum when um, that's off, right? It's such an important part of the game, both sides of it, and um, you know it's just an area that we needed to bear down and dig in and be better in. Uh, I mean, I think just the uh, you know RF three in the offensive zone, that third guy high. Um, just being on the same page with the D, we want to play aggressive, but we got to fill in spots and fill in for guys that are, are pinching in and, and vice versa. So um, I think it's just a little bit disconnected in that regard. How big does a Boston game become based on the last two games? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we didn't respond tonight and you know, we're going into obviously a, a big atmosphere, a good team um, on a Saturday night. So, you know, it's up to us to, to get ready for that one. It starts tomorrow in practice, having a sharp practice. and. Uh, you know, putting our best foot forward and just being better. Just uh, issue for the team tonight. No, I think we just got to get back to defending hard. Um, obviously, letting in 10, 11 goals in two games. I don't, I don't think that's gonna cut it. So uh, you got to get back to to defending hard, and I think, um, yeah, that's where it starts. And we know that we can can score score goals, and um, so get back to that uh, grind game again. No, it's it's not good enough. Obviously, coming out pretty pretty flat in, in two games in a row. So I think uh, that's that's got to be better. That's uh, that's on us to to uh, prepare better. Um, make sure we're ready to go when when the ref drop the puck. How do you explain the, the issues with the power play? I mean, there's a lot of talent on this team, but not a lot of goals to show for it. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we've talked about it before. Uh, I think uh, simplify it. I think we gotta gotta shoot a little bit more and get to the net and yeah, get one off the shin pads or, or whatever. That that's what it takes. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think yeah, obviously we gotta dig in and, and get better at it. Uh, but I feel like we're kind of waiting for for somebody to to do it instead of just um, get to work. Why do you think some of the uh, transition has popped up? I mean, the schedule's been pretty tough at this. No, I think uh, I don't know. We just gotta defend harder. Like I said, I, I don't think we have an excuse to to not defend hard. So um, that's gotta be the the goal for us when we when we get out there on what is it Saturday, uh, playing against a good team. So it's a good test for us to to get back to to defending hard. And like I said, I think if we start there, um, the other the other parts in our game is gonna fall fall into pieces. So it's that's that's where we start. This is your first game in a while, but just your, your mm -hmm. sense of how you felt in, in that tonight. Yeah, I thought I'd I settled in a bit, and um, I thought our, our guys looked good uh, in front of me, and um, you know, maybe like to have one or two back, and 
I think, you know, unfortunately, that's just a difference in, in the game. And, um, uh, you know, a couple goals make a difference. So. You've been close for a while. Like, when did you know this was going to be the night you'd be able to, to get back? Um, honestly, don't remember the exact day. Um, you know, I was just uh, I was working as hard as I could to, to get back and get back with this group. And um, it was, uh, you know, definitely cool to, to play against my hometown team. How disappointing is it that you guys weren't able to get a win here? Coach? Yeah, it's, it's disappointing. Um, that would have been nice to, to get for him. And, um, you know, I think for, for the team as well, I'd, um, yeah, yeah, obviously wish we could have won. What was the experience like seeing that through the other side, playing, playing your hometown team? Yeah, it was a little surreal, um, just kind of, you know, when the anthems were playing and uh, it was kind of a cool moment just looking across at, you know, the team I grew up watching and, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Going up against Jennings, what, what do you appreciate the things about what he's done in his career? Yeah, obviously that, that cup run he had was, was pretty special and uh, it was pretty cool to, to play against him. Obviously he played a pretty, pretty good uh, game tonight. Um, you know, I think for the most part, from, from my vantage point at least, I, I think we've been playing good hockey, and um, like I said, I, I think we deserved, you know, a better better outcome tonight. Um, but you know, we're gonna, uh, you know, take what we can and just move forward. I think we uh, we gave him a lot of my rushes. Obviously, my play was uh, stupid there in the third period. Um, Got to be better than that, but. Um, I didn't think we were able to create a lot of chances. He played pretty good in that, but we gave him too many uh, good quality scoring chances. How do you explain a team that played so well against the Rangers and the Lightning to you know, what you guys delivered the last couple? Yeah, I mean, we've sure taken a dip. Um, that's on, uh, on me and everybody else on the team to you know pick it up a notch. Uh, I mean, starting with practice tomorrow. How do you guys handle it when Craig is so animated on the, on the bench when you see something he doesn't like? Um, I mean, I haven't really, uh, I mean, we're not looking at him. We don't see him, what he's doing, so I couldn't really tell you. It was a big one for him, though, just a level of disappointment for, you know, his first game against these two old teams. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we should have been better there for him tonight. Uh, it's uh, just not good enough from, uh, from me, and, I mean, we got better as a team as well. All the big guns aren't going to score every night, but a little concern, like you say, about the defensive play from the top line tonight, do you think? Yeah, I think... Like I said, I don't think that it might be per se in in just solid D zone coverage. I think it might be coming back into D zone or from the offensive zone. Um, getting all my rushes against, I think, is what we need to to limit. How do you think Joseph Wall looked in his first game? Yeah, I mean, we didn't help him giving him those all my rushes against. Uh, but I think other than that, he played really well, and um, it's great to have him back. What's it going to take to get that play like the one with the? Yeah. Like you're usually pretty. Good in that area. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna put it under his stick. I mean, and I would have had him beat, but it was just at that point in the game, three-one. I mean, 17 minutes left. There's still a lot of time, so it's not like if that if that would have been two minutes left in the game, we're down three-one. It would have been a different situation. That's gonna be better situational awareness on my part. Bad play. How about about the power play? What do you think the key is for you guys to break through there? Yeah, I think we just gotta start attacking the puck and not trying to find the. I mean, attacking the net, not trying to look for the perfect play. Um, I think they the last power play we had. I think it was better. I think we were generating chances, and I mean, just having a more of a shot uh, mindset mentality. Craig, you said there's lots of emotions coming into this one. What are the emotions for you after watching the performance tonight? Well, I mean, we didn't. We we made mistakes. Bottom line, defensive mistakes. Um, lack of awareness on some of them. Um, just. For me, we gave him three goals. You know, shouldn't happen. The harder to make tests given that the guys were talking about responding properly after Tuesday. What's that? Is it harder to digest given the guys are talking about responding properly after well, Tuesday? Well, all losses are hard to digest. I mean, whether it's this one, that one, you know, they're all hard to digest. So, you know, we'll, we look at stuff tomorrow and we'll get better. Where did the defensive issues stem from, do you think, at this point, last two games? Um, I, you know, I'm not going to go back to the. Columbus game, but I'll talk about this one. Um, you know, we're, we're just losing coverage when, you know, we're not helping each other out in the coverage areas. You know, I mean, like too much time and space on some of them, you know, instead of being physical and closing plays out. And 
the PK goal where you know our forwards in the wrong spot and they get it to the front of the net. It's just more. Some of them are mental mistakes, um, and some of them, you know, we're just we got to be a, we got to be harder. We got to be more physical. Killing plays. Sorry. Can you put your finger on <clears throat> what's happened from one game to the next? I mean, you were so good last week. But yeah. Tampa, but well, we're going through some adversity right now, you know, going to Columbus and got um, beat and then beat at home here tonight. You know, we got to obviously look at the, the tape and, um, you know, for me, we're giving up too many odd band rushes right now and we got to nip that in the butt. That's number one because we don't, we before that, the last two games we were pretty good in that area, and we got to fix that. Um, that's that's a problem right now, and um, you know <laughs> you're going to go through tough times like this during the year, and you got to find a way to dig out of it and get the guys better. We all got to be better, myself included. We all got to be better. So we'll get to the work tomorrow and and get ready for Boston. You seem pretty animated with the top line after the third St. Louis goal. What? How does that work with you when you're when you're letting that emotion go and? You know, well, like because, again, the the third goal is just not doing things right, and it was it was lazy hockey on the goal. That's the bottom line. So, the great new power play can be the great equalizer. Obviously, well, it can be. A, I mean, again, like you know, they're they they got some looks again tonight. They get looks, you know, but it's still. Um, little bit um they're not seeing it you know what i mean they're not really seeing it right now and you know they'll, they'll get it going we we'll, we'll keep working at it but um at least we converged the net more tonight and got pucks there more tonight you know and the other thing is like you know we had 41 two shots but i think they had 25 block shots i mean you gotta we gotta do a better job of not allowing teams to block those shots and you know whether it's you know a little bit of movement and getting pucks through, but got to be better. It's you know that's all execution stuff that we got to be better. What'd you make of Joseph's performance in that game? First game in a long time. I mean, you know, I have you know he made some big saves. I thought on some of those plays, but uh, you know, I mean, the first one he was screened on. He, he couldn't see it. You know, we let a guy stand right in front of him and screen him. We don't we don't clear him out of the net, out of the front of the net. It's a tough one, and then. You know, the second goal, the guy's right on the doorstep all alone on the, on the PK. Greg, you talked a little bit about defensive zone coverage. How concerning is it when you've got defensemen trying to put the puck, putting the puck between their own legs in their own defensive zone? I know you've always stressed Well, yeah, simple. we don't, I think, you know, a lot of that in, in these last two games for me is our whole team's getting a little cute. And, you know, we got to... We just got to play direct and, you know, like we don't need that kind of stuff.